Corey. All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play some Grixis Dragons. I've been playing against this deck uh, a couple times, and it's been impressive when I've seen it played against me. I don't know if it's actually good or not, but like it looks good when from the other side of the table. So it's basically kind of like a Sarkin deck that powers out either Nikki or Niv, and then it combats other Niv decks with the Eldest Reborn. Because it doesn't trigger Niv, and it just gets rid of it and lets you bring it back. Splash in some removal, some counters, some searches, and then the sideboard is just more, more counter spells for probably control decks. Uh, Moment of Craving for aggro decks. Dire Fleet Poisoner, I don't really know what's going on here, but like, you know, whatever. It's just Then just some more removal here to kind of round everything out. I assume these are for like Vivians. I think you probably bring this in against Black Green. This is your anti Vivian. Let's jump in the league. Oh, here we go. Oh, Carney T, okay. Kind of eat your carny. I've been so used to ignoring Carnage Tyrant because with the uh, with the other with the Drake deck, you just you kill them. All right, so we have Sarkin. I don't think you can mulligan this hand because it's got turn three Nav or turn four Nav. So like it doesn't really do anything besides play Nav on three. I did play uh, the face-to-face -face games, uh, blue, white, red, Jessica, Jessica Drake's deck. And I liked it. Did you already eat all those spells? You have died. Can you please put it back in there, please? Can I get more? No, Phil. You already had two treats, bud. You're going to get fat. Yeah, like, I wonder if this is just, like, a tap-out fucking bombs deck. Like, just drop bomb. Like, this is the biggest bam in the format. Ooh, they missed their land drop. All right, we're going to play slow. I'm not just going to jam my Sarkin into, like, a syncopate or a negate. I will jam my Sarkin in now, though. Because I need, like, specifically negate here. Yield through this turn. When it hits. Should have played the Steam Vents. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I should have played the Steam Vents. Now we have to shock in our Niv. This is a slight punt. And now they can go to Fairy down on it. But then we play another one. Or they can do that. One crackling boy. I kind of just want to play another Niv. But they're going to be able to deal with it. I don't really want to let them untap, though. So let's... And we have four of them. So let's just, like, keep them coming here. Like, they deal with this. We're going to find... We're probably going to find another one. And if they tuck, then we're just going to shock them and shoot to fairy. Would have been nice. But now we're just going to jam this Eldest Reborn. 
one, two, three. If I just do it all, let's discard this fiery cannonade. Now I can make mana, play Niv next turn. And have Counterspell up, which is pretty gas. So let's just make mana. Let's make blue, blue. Yeah, like I don't know, like we're we're dumping on this guy. Now, do I want to shock myself? What can they do? They can play Justice Strike and then Syncopate for four. And then they can play through Syncopate. So I'm just gonna play this tapped. And if they go to like Justice Strike my uh, Niv, then whatever. And I'm just gonna. What do I want to do? Do I want to trade here? If my opponent casts a spell, I'm not going to trade. I'm just going to keep my nib around. I mean, I can just trade and then bring nib back. We drew another Elvish Reborn. That's nice. So let's get back to Fairy. Oh, I should have shot this thing. That was stupid. Yeah, because if I get it on shoot, I still can kill it. But let's activate this first. Shoot this. I'm just going to scoop it up. Yeah, we didn't really do anything. Like, we just kind of just played Niv. We played Bombs. So I want these. We don't want... We want to cut eight cards. At least. And our Essence Scatters aren't great. So I was like, do we want Essence Scatter or do we want Shock? I guess we could, because we think if this is on, if this is like Zach's list from the Pro Tour, they might bring in Legion Warboss. These Essence Scatters aren't great. They do counter the other dumb card, but we are bringing another aspect. Answer to that. I'm going to leave the Cannonades in to hedge against Legion Warboss. And we're going to bring in the Spyglass and six counter spells. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is how we do it. We could leave it. Like, again, Essence Scatter is really only good against Crackling Drake. And we have Ionize and Disdainful Stroke. Heater. We have a Niv and a Surge. What more do we want? What more do we actually need in life? <coughs> we really need the second search. Oh, there's two searches? I should have mulliganed. I thought there was only one search. Whatever. When our opponent negates the first one, they're going to be so surprised when we jam the second one. Shit. Now we have two dead cards. Now we're just looking for lands. We're going to ditch this. We have enough counter magic. Yes. So 
Like they didn't, when they don't counter your search for his Kanta and you're sad. Not gonna lie, I'm tempted to just spell pierce this. And I think I'm going to. Like just deny them the cards here. Make it so they like if they might get a little more excited about playing Teferi. Oh, I was hoping they were gonna jam a Teferi in there. Now I feel stupid. Like to let the reflectant know that I feel stupid. Yep, I feel stupid. I feel stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> It is kind of nice to play a control mirror. Ooh! Ooh! Are you telling me we're going to get both of these Teferis? I will snap this negate off. This... This painful stroke off so fast. Um, I want to do this before they sinister sabotage it. Yes, Teferi is legendary. Tilt. All right, but we nib first. But then they Teferi, so I think we're not going to do that. Well, at least now we can pitch. Revitalize deal. Revitalize is such a bad card. Make my day. If you want to counter this, go for it. <coughs> Let's get to can tripping. So they've sabotage to fairy to fairy just strike. And now we're just gonna bury this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have Niv plus counter spell. Which playing Nib plus Counterspell is probably good enough. But we can also just wait. I should have played my tap lane. That was stupid. Like, why do anything when we can just, like, do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Uh, exactly. So do I want to counter this? I kind of want to counter this. I like my Planeswalker.
And I think I'm going to plus it and just play my land. Uh, do I want to do this now? The problem is if they play Teferi and Counterspell, I'm just going to Eldest Reborn them. So I'm not going to fight over this one. So Teferi does the strike. <laughs> All right. Let's get Nibby with it. Though, uh, I only have one counter spell on it. No, nah, we're just going to do that. We're still going to, like, we deal with the first one. Like, all we have to do is just make them, like, fight. Like, fight. We're going to get into a fight. I'm going to draw a million cards. I don't even really care if they slam into Fairy, which is nuts. Like, it's nuts that... Like, if you told me last standard that we were going to have a standard format where I can just play through a Teferi, I would have been like, dude, you're crazy. Prowl. Okay. Dead. Wrong land. Now I'm going to fight, definitely going to fight over this Teferi because it means I can reanimate it. So their, their hand is Teferi Teferi. One, two, three, four, five. So now they can just double to ferry me. No. And then we get their last to ferry. This game is just over. Yo, that was a beating. Like, that was absolutely savage. It's probably better to bring back Nev. You're right. Uh, would you like to play first? Yes. So savage you can call it Randy. All right, we have Sarkin. I'm just going to keep all these like real loosey-goosey hands that, play this, that have Sarkin. We're going to get destroyed by an aggro deck here.
All right, so we're playing against this is this is what we this is the matchup we wanted because this is what I, I keep getting dunked on by this guy. What's going on, Phil? Phil. Yeah, we do lose to Boros. All right. Fiery Cannonade is a spell. We are in need of a spell. <coughs> no. Nice. I hate this version of this deck. Like, man, you just played... Ugh. I'm going to counter anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll get rid of that one. It's just a, such a clunky pile, and like you're just letting me get out ahead of this because they didn't have an Electromancer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's going to turn to a land, anyways. Hey, Nikki, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Yeah. Can I plus Sarkin to... And any mana cast it only to cast dragon spells. Oh man, are we about to get it? Lava coil. Okay, so now they get to bring back two phoenixes. One phoenix. Crack this Sarkin. Not gonna lie, I'm tempted to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm tempted to just plus this. Yeah, let's just get this going. So let's go, let's plus. Nice. I'm gonna take care of this right now. I could have, so my plan was to just like, like just get the Eldest Reborn in play. The Marari's Conjecture. So what do we want to do here? What do I have in my graveyard? They've got a Crackling Drake, an Arclight Phoenix, and a Goblin Electromancer. I don't really want to play anything until... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we're just going to pass. So 
Let me get that back. We're going to get back Crackling Drake. I activated the Sarkin, right? Or did I just like zone out? Yeah, I did. Okay, so they're going to get back an Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna take this lava coil. Let him hit this. Lava coil this. Bring back the um. Ooh, plans changed. Plans have changed. Let's play this. Red, red. Blue, blue, blue. We're gonna do this now, guaranteed get a card. We're gonna get another card off Stark and I just wanna do it while I had priority. They can beacon bolt it, but like we just have another Eldritch Reborn set up. So they get to smoke both of our creatures. It's kind of gas. They ditch. They ditch the tormenting voice. It's a good way to come back. Probably gonna ditch syncopate. Hopefully they give me a creature to Eldest Reborn. I'm probably just gonna cast it because that just means I'm gonna get back. Um, I'm gonna get my Niv back faster. They ditch blink of an eye. Yeah, this is kind of mopey, but I'm just gonna do it. I kind of had like, I guess I could, no, nah, that was stupid because I could have gone like Insight Plus. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, this was stupid because I could have gone Syncubate Plus or Insight Plus. They sack a card. They discard a card. They sack a dude. I mean, that was a great draw. I should have left a red open. The Marari was like was good. I don't think the Marari was great. Shooting this now. I get a Phoenix back. Yeah, the, the Mirari was close. Like, it did keep them kind of going. I kind of want to just counter this. Because my second base not going to do anything. And this just kind of, like, slows them down and is going to eliminate their resources more. 
it's like pretty it's not good like it's not great it's pretty loose but now i'm gonna they're gonna be hell bent they're gonna get two phoenixes back crack me for six they're gonna have no cards in hand i'm gonna get nib and chemistry's insight and we just do another nib nib put this here they discard a card so they're running on empty yeah i guess you're right there bit vines Always yield. Shoot this. And now, yeah, we just like shoot both of their things. We get another thing back. Okay, the inside bling. Um. How do we sideboard? Our shocks, our shocks are decent. Like our cannonades are not good, but I feel like besides that, the rest of our deck is pretty nice. Um, probably just want like disdainful stroke or negate. They played torments, tormenting voice, right? I don't think Essence Scatter is very good. We're going to cut that on the draw. We're going to bring in another Negate because we, we don't want to get... I guess we get, we still just wreck down, like, dive down because of Nib. They were sure like this. Could bring in another stroke. But I, I want to be I'm gonna bring in another stroke. I think negate's gonna be too slow. I'm gonna want negate on the play though, because I want to be able to smoke a tormenting voice. We just beat the piss out of two out of them two control decks. This hand's get has. Or beat the piss out of the control deck. We we basically beat the piss out of them last game too. Like it was the the, the Marari kept them to say in it is I think a little you know, giving them a little bit of credit. But the Marari clawed them within shots length. Or not within shots, like within sh within reach, I guess. What are you doing, man? Like you gonna get Sarkin? That's not bad. I don't have a way to get this off the table either. So like that's actually not bad. Because now it turns my Sarkins into dead draws, and they can play around my hand, I guess. So maybe I should search Sunken. Oh, it's Kanta. Okay. We're gonna get we're gonna crack it up. Yep. I'm just gonna uh, smoke this. It's gonna make my um, eldest reborn a tad worse. I think I'm gonna counter pretty much anything here. I might save my Elders Reborn for Niv. No. Interesting. The gate is awkward. All right, we have our own Niv, so I'm just going to jam this. My opponent Niv's harder than we do, but they need another mana and Niv. And getting the six mana in that deck is not trivial, though it just happened. Good, good. All 
All right, so here comes a phoenix. Double phoenix is not bad. I'm going to just find a land and jam Niv, though. No. They discard a card. And if we untap with Niv and two counter spells, it's all over. I got beat up by a blue white spirit deck that played that. Maximize velocity dead. All right, let's get back crackling Drake. Uh, yes. Draw another card. I think the Eldest Reborn is just worse than playing out another Niv and hoping we don't die. Oh, it's none of us. Okay. All right. Hey, watch out, buddy. Come on. Game's getting intense. Tormenting voice. Um, we're only going to draw. So we go block, 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 take five. Oh, so we're dead. We dead. Do they draw two cards? One of these gets through. I guess maybe I want my shots now that the game's played out a little bit. Because this Electromancer went nuts. We got just Electrode out of the game. And that's like, that's how we lose. Okay, we kept our shocks in, so this negate looks no way now. I'm gonna shave on one of these. I'm gonna bring in one more negate because oh, the counter spells were not good. Is fight with fire worth it? Just it's a way to kill another Niv. Kills murmuring mystic too. I'm gonna keep all of these on the play. I think. Second base player on the play. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. They are going to draw more, more ping of Phoenix. Still, what are you doing, buddy? You're just like tweaking out down here. <clears throat> First, awkward. We need more lands. We're going to need red lands regardless. When we find red lands, the Sarkin's going to be okay. And we have Spell Pierce plus we have a Surge. I'm going to keep this hand. It might be a little loosey goosey. Nah, this hand's stupid. I'm stupid. I should have mulliganed because we're just like. Stone cold to a uh, whatever the dumb card is, little little duder. I don't even care if my opponent search for or whatever's me. We're dead. We're stone dead to the dumb guy. 
Electromancer. Nice. A radical idea. I was gonna say I was gonna snap spell pierce any uh, chart of course or anything like that. No, so I'm just gonna jam this. If they spell pierce me, they spell pierce me. If they negate, I'll spell pierce back. You got it. Um. Oh, we got Nikki. My boy Nikki. All right, crack it up. Crackling Drake is thick. Yes. I'm gonna ditch these counter spells. I think. And how do we start so low on cards? I guess we have more lands and more stuff in play. <clears throat> oh, yes, I could have Vimes. You're right. Yep. No, you're right. You are super right there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go with no. Because, like, and then I'm going to plus not discard. Um, I'm not blocking with this Nev. So let's just attack. That's good. Oh, that's cute. See, but now they're going to cast their Tormenting Voice, and I'm going to counter it. And then they kind of two-for-one themselves here. <clears throat> that's why the Tormenting Voice is so bad. Like, they're going to get their Arclight Phoenix back, and they can kill my... kill this... So maybe it's not that bad, actually. Where is this flipping to? Seven plus two, draw two cards. Nikki deals 10 damage to target creature or player. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go yes, and I will flip this. That's better than flipping Nick, I think. Is that better than flipping Nick? Because I can just smoke this, hold Disdainful Stroke, and activate. Yeah, I think that's better than flipping the Nick. Yeah, no, I messed up. I, like, tossed this. So... Target Creature or Planeswalker... I can get back my Sarkin. I can attack for four, flip, get back Sarkin. That doesn't, then it just dies. I think I'm just going to attack for four, hit this Crackling Drake. And then pass. Yeah, dude, this Mirari just, like, wrecked me. I, it's because I, I miss you, Sarkin. Do they have to ditch? Wow, they just draw. They, only, they don't have to ditch again. That's nice.
And maybe I'm supposed to put that. I don't know. I definitely played poorly. I could have, like, I always forget that I can just make mana. But, I, like, we just talked about turn four, and it just didn't come into play there. I'll go land drake. Well, wow, they're going, they're just bricking really hard here. Wow. All right, I'm going to activate this. They have double shock, they get me. Um, what are they ditching? All right, now I'm just going to attack. I don't even know if I'm supposed to flip it, to be honest. No, that's just stupid. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked because now it could get shocked, but I doubt they left shock in their deck. I, no, this was a stupid risk for me. Now I deserve this. Blink. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I played this poorly. I just haven't, like, I could have thought a lot more about, like, hey, like, yeah, see, now I've just played, I've, I've just being an asshole here. I, I, play, I played like shit here. Played like garbage. Now they just kill this. Yeah, this is... I, I just tossed this. Solely tossed this. Could have won likely either game. Either sideboard game. I just need to play, I need to like play slower and remember I can make mana with my Sarkin. Deal until next, and then the Niv's gonna bury us. And I, I deserve this, this is just like so bad. We're gonna get back two Arclight Phoenixes. Oh yeah, whatever, we're just gonna scoop it up. We're dead. Yeah, no, that was all my fault. I think we win that game if I don't have my head squarely in my ass. I think we win. I, I honestly, I think we win either of those two sideboard games if we're just not playing stupid. In which we did. We just played like very stupid. I'm going to check this sweatshirt off. It's getting hot in here. Take off my Clarkson sweatshirt into my Clarkson t-shirt. That was just me going on autopilot, going just full, full dumb. That's some branding right there. If you want to see just head in your ass magic, DHUB317. All right. This hand's decent. Like, we've got a counterspell. We have Niv against Grindy Dex. We've got A Shock. I figure it's entertainment value. 
Because people are going to be able to watch on the stream and be like, wow, that dude's an idiot. Or they're going to watch on YouTube and they're like, wow, that dude's an idiot. And then they're going to be happy. I do it for the people. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Let's just hedge. Let's hedge so that we can smoke an Electromancer. I do feel like if that game plays out, though, is an example of why the grindy version is just like... Because, like, if I would have plus mana and then played Nick, I think, then, like, that conjecture doesn't come down. Like, they just don't get under me. And they just get, like... And I think, I think the game's basically over. I like making content. It helps like keep me organized. That's nice. Cause like when I, if I like make, if I make content, like I obviously try to do it well, even if we mess up sometimes, but like it just helps keep me, keep me organized on everything. God, please be a tormenting voice. It's a tormenting voice cause they're waiting. I kind of just want to, like, not give them a free way to put the Phoenix in the graveyard. I don't really want to piss my mana away this turn. Thing is, half the decks don't have good answers to Electro, and that versus, and that version floods out less, and you can be relatively controlling. I don't think controlling is what you want to be, Andy, though, because, like, I do think this deck or something like this deck is likely pretty good. And if you try to be controlling against like the, and maybe it's like Moto's ahead. And if you try to be controlling against, or like try not to just, wow. All right, we're just gonna show me a land. Jeez. Um, if you just try to be controlling, then, like, they're just going to go way over the top of you because that's just what Niv does. If you're playing, like, seven or eight drakes, you can get underneath of them. This was an unfortunate... Jeez. Like, I'm, I need to hit land drops. Am I going to die if I do this and miss? I don't think so. Um, we're not going to have time for the search for Iskanta. You know it's going to flip pretty quickly. All right, well, now we can get an Eldritch Reborn down at least. And, like, start that train. I could just jam Niv, but, like, that doesn't impact the board. I mean, like, obviously I'm going to get value off of it, but I'm not really worried about value. A lot of times I play way off her, keeping more mana cantrips to hit lands. Yes. Yep. No, I, well, no, I think, of the, I think you trade fail rates. Like, the one, the Electro version plays a better long game. Because you get to, you get better cantrips. You, um, you get better cantrips. You know, you just do, you do better things. But, you also get, um, you, you, you play a better, I don't know how to say this. Um, you play a better long game, you play a better control game, no doubt. I just think that like getting on the front foot with a Drake and that lower to the ground version means that you don't have to play a long game, you know? Cause like, it's like playing Death Shadow. Like this is how I think of everything. Cause I just play that deck so much. Like, the, the, the deck is just so much better with a threat. I think. So I kind of like playing Nick. One, two, three, four, and then double shocking. So we agree. Yes, for sure. This is better than that job because Electro is so heavy. I don't even think that it has a... Um, I don't even think it has a better nut draw. Andy, 
because it doesn't it doesn't play seven drakes that can take advantage of the cantrips you're using. Like I would argue that on four Enigma Drake plus dive down is a better nut draw than um than like Electromancer an Electromancer draw. You know, like I mean you can get a sick Drake like each deck is capable of a turn three um each deck is capable of a turn three Phoenix. I would argue that this deck Phoenix is better on turn three because you don't need to have an Electromancer survive, but you're more guaranteed to Phoenix on three if your Electromancer lives than versus the Cantrip version without Electromancer. If that makes sense. I think I'm just going to like double shock this right now so that we just don't get destroyed by a dive down. Because like... Um, that's what I think at least. I do like the Murmuring Mystic... Um, no, they're going to ditch a Beacon Bolt, so let's definitely get rid of this. We could get burned out of this game. For sure. But they're just going to hit this. We're going to get back Niv and then play another Nick, especially if we hit a land and have a counterspell. I also, Andy, I always, like, I will always lean to being aggressive with basically everything that I do. He's a lava coil. Surprisingly lava coil. Shock, shock. Got me? We're not expecting to hate it. Okay, so now, do we just... One, two, three, four... I think I'm just going to insight. Because insighting lets me kill this right now. And I'm going to ditch... This Nev. And it lets me hit a land for Ionize. Gas. But I would argue that a version like, um, like even though we lost, we lost last round to the Marari's Conjecture deck, I think that was more operator issues than anything else. Um, how do I say this? That was more operator problems than anything. Like, a version with the Drakes is much better against this deck because you can actually get under them. Like, I don't think either is very good, to tell you the truth. And I think that maybe if this deck, if a deck like this, you know, and I don't know if this deck's actually good or if it's just quirky and cool. But if a deck like this becomes good, then I would are, are probably neither of the Drakes are good. Probably if Eldest Reborn becomes a big aspect of the metagame, you just don't want to be playing your own Nivs because, like, if you're playing the Drake deck, you can't deal with Niv from your side without it just wrecking you unless you play the stupid uh, Deep Freeze, which is a bad card. But it deals with, like, it's a card that deals with a lot of different things. A lot of different creatures. Like, you deal with Lyra, Niv, and Vanguard without downsides, really. I've been getting waxed by the Eldest Reborn recently, Andy. Like, I think if you, let me, let me, let me pull up my YouTube channel from yesterday. I think I, I played 10 matches... Beacon Bolt. Let's hope my computer can handle this. Videos. It might tweak out. Give me one second. So I played against. One, two, 
the Pirates deck. I played against three decks yesterday. I played against two decks that I saw Eldest Reborn, one deck that could have had Eldest Reborn on the sideboard in one league. And I played against one, one more deck that had it, and one that could have had it in the sideboard in an Esper control deck. So I played against Grixis Dragons twice, Blue Black Control once, Blue Black Pirates, which could have it, but like that's not really a deck, so like we can get rid of that. We let's just not even let's not even pretend that it is. And then Esper Control, which could have had it. So I played against three decks that had it in the main deck and two that could have had it in the sideboard. Out of my ten standard matches I recorded yesterday. All right, so let's play Nick. Hang on. So how do we lose? How do we lose? We have this fiery cannonade, which should be able to deal with any shenanigans associated with this. But we could just play land, have plenty of counter spells. But I do think the Eldest Reborn is a good way to go, Andy. If you can get away from the, if these aggro decks are going down. Do I play Nick? Nick's a blocker. Makes him discard a card, which is going to make it hard to bring back multiple Phoenixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. So I can't go Essence Scatter Plus if I do that. I kind of want to play Nick. Let's see what they discard. And then we might just not attack. Like if they put a second Phoenix in the graveyard, maybe I just won't do anything. Eldest Reborn deck struggle against the Phoenix portion of your plan from my experience. Hey, Cat. I agree that the Eldest Reborn decks... Okay, so they put another Phoenix in the graveyard, so I think I'm just going to pass and try to kill them next turn. Because they're going to have to go nuts to bring this thing back. Yeah, the Eldest Reborn decks do struggle against the... Uh, all right, oh God. we're going to get this thing out of here because they only have two cards. God, how does it all go wrong? If I let this resolve with the cannonade, even if they get all these things back, I still should be all set. Though I can syncopate, my syncopate gets live, and this is two spells. I'm just going to count this. Because if without this in play, syncopate's likely going to be live. Um, I'm going to counter anything I get the opportunity to counter with the next spell. Nick's dead. Nick is dead. Okay, now we're going to just attack in the game next turn. I played a Jeskai Mirror vs. Hellcat sometime this week. They've been both same deck. Dude, this is some this is some hot action. We got uh we got whatever it is um in our deck as well. Uh we got Sarkins, so we're we're powering these things out on turn turn numero trace. We could go syncopate, we can go essence scatter, whole priority, syncopate, whole priority, syncopate, cannonade. For the if we wanted to go full style, but I don't think we want to. Because that's just like too much clicking. <clears throat> Dude, cat, you wanna you wanna get some free uh, moto lessons here while we're playing? All right, I don't remember how I sideboarded here, but I felt like a supreme asshole. Yes, please. All right. Um, I think we determined that the spell pierce was good on the draw, and then one disdainful stroke, and the fiery cannonades weren't good, and the rest of the deck's just pretty solid. I could cut a Sarkin, but I'm bringing in like a negate, which doesn't deal with anything on turn two. That's what we're gonna do. 
If you win, I haven't lost so I've lost so many standard matches, just setting tickets on fire. Dude, standard is hard. I love getting in conversations with like like I, I play a lot of modern because it's easy for me to play modern because I don't have to pay attention to the standard metagame and have my deck move. Shock over Shivan Fire. I just I just copy and pasted a deck. I didn't I didn't change I I cut one radical idea for a third Nick. But Nick's Nick's my boy. I think Nick might be like the coolest card that has a chance to never really dominate in standard. Heater. But you timed out, so it wasn't exactly conclusive. All right. Right now, Cat, we're hitting eight before the match starts, and that yields priority until we can respond. And then when we're done with our turn, we right click and we yield through the turn. We can't do anything. That's right there. That's all I got. Yield through this turn. We have a shocking hand. Not going to syncopate a cantrip here. <clears throat> but yeah, so I might be on the wrong side of variance, Andy. Those are two and six on my computer. So F6 yields you through the turn, okay? F8 yields you through the entire match if you can't do anything. So like every single time you're tapped out, F8 just auto yields. I used to playing spirits where I live. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so it like Shiv Shiv might be better for sure. But well, the, the nice thing about shock is when you get like Wow, they're ditching, they're ditching good cards. When you um, are on like the ionize Nick shock plan, you have like this really awesomely bad uh, burn them out strat. Does it really? I've actually never used F2. So maybe I need to do some learning. I never do. Huh. All right, yield until the next end step. We need a land, kind of in a bad way. There we go. Two is the shit. God, this is entertaining. I tend to play decks that can react and it's perfect. So I was listening to, uh, um, so when they when they added F8 to magic to where you could just yield if all the time if you couldn't respond, Eric Froelich was on a podcast and it was, it was when Battle for Zendikar Limited was there. And he's like, F8 has brought me back to magic online. It says, my turn three play is play um, Sky Spawner and then, uh, Sack this and then sack the scion so that he could F8. He just made that joke, and I just like I just died laughing at that. So we're gonna get destroyed by a Niv Mizzet from our opponent here. That's what's coming, and there's nothing that we can do about it. There it is. Eldest Reborn? Eldest Reborn one time. I probably should have discarded. Well, Nick's not bad. Should we just triple shock this thing? How bad is this going to go? One, two, three, and we can hold up a counterspell. All right, I think this is this is the world we live in. I'm gonna teach a class like how to not deal with Niv. At least we have a plan. Like we're gonna triple shock this thing. We're gonna play Nikki with some counter spells, and then we're gonna flip Nick and we're gonna get this sucker back. This is painful. 
I've done some things in my day that I'm not proud of. And I think this is like right up there. <clears throat> Dude, Phil, can you give me some coffee? If I can teach my dog to give me coffee, oh my God. God, play a tormenting voice. Um, I think I'm just going to counter this. Because if this thing hits the battlefield, they're just going to, like, go absolute ape. Go absolute ape shit, and then we're not going to be able to keep up. So, Kat, you're moving to uh, Michigan. That's pretty sweet. What, are you going to do, like, the full-time full -time MTG life? All right, I think we're just going to go pitch a card, play search. Search is going to flip. This thing's a problem. These counter spells look good. I am right the MV, and yep, probably pick up a part-time job. Keep doing consulting. You consult, you do a... Uh, you're a data analyst, right? I have no idea what a data analyst actually does. Like, I can be like, oh, they analyze data, but I don't know, like, do you, like, look at, do you, like, look at, uh, do you take statistics? Like, do you poll? I I'm not exactly sure. So the nice thing, this Murmuring Mystic is going to mess with our um, Eldest Reborn game plan out of this deck. So, like, we're slowly getting to the point where we're going to have to, like, nib out here to win this game. Yeah, flip this thing. All right, so we're going to be able to nib out. I used to analyze Medicare claims data and clean it up and generate reports such relations of the data. Oh, okay. That sounds awful not to be like super rude. I've done things like that in the past and like that is just sounds tough. We might get into a world where we have to block with this chump block with this nib like that just sounds like stressful like oh. especially once you start sending things to hospitals like I've done work in hospitals before and that is tough so if I if I block this, am I going to die? Might as well block this bird. This is seven damage. Am I going to die? Because if I can untap with this nib, I'm likely going to do pretty well. If I don't have this nib, then this, then like this murmuring mystic is going to get out of control. Seven, two spells, four cards. I think I'm going to die if I do this. So I think, unfortunately, if I untap with this Niv, I think I'm going to win with these insights in the graveyard. All right, shock me. I'm ready. This is Banefire, you savage. You absolute savage. Let's 
So if I attacked here, I'd be at six more life. That Bane Fire would have killed me eventually. <clears throat> they have Bane Fire in their deck, which is worth noting. So I want I like uh, Disdainful Strokes more on the play because it's going to get under like. I like counter spells more on the play. I should have put out my syncopates on the draw. I always forget to do that. Phil. Fitty boy. What's going on, bud? Dad, you've been streaming forever. Yes. This will be the likely the last league. And if we play another one, Phil, we will take you OUT. GG. Yo, Brandon, good morning. Coming to this chat, and you talk smack about Tommy, we're going to have problems. Because Tom Brady is the man. I'm going to cut this, spear, this Pierce in the play. Yeah, dude. Quickest way to get yourself 600 seconds. It's to say something about Tom Brady. Phil, do you want to say hi to Twitch chat? Do you want to say hi to Twitch chat, Phil? We're going for a ride. Fitty boy. Say hi to Twitch chat, Fitty. In my nose. Like you, you literally just wanted to say hi and you left. You're killing me, Smalls. One hundred percent a Patriots fan, dude. Tap land heater. Actually, I should have mulligan. This hand's not that good because, like, if I can just get wrecked by an electromancer. Oh yeah, you're from Atlanta. God, miss twenty eight to three. How is it going? So funny story about that game. I'm watching it, and I'm basically like. I'm telling Megan, I'm like, just turn it off. Like, this is over. You know, like, we're screwed. I don't want to watch this anymore. You know, like, it's just an absolute slaughter. And my wife was like, just watch it. Like, Brady's probably going to retire after get being, getting beat this bad. You might as well, like, see the last game. And I was like, all right, whatever. And then that shit happened. And, oh, my God. I called my dad. So my dad was watching at my grandparents' house. My dad doesn't have uh, cable TV. So I'm calling dad, and I'm on the phone. And I'm just, I'm going to shock myself. No, I'm not. I'm just going to play this. And then play this tapped. Um, I'm on the phone with my dad, and I'm giving him the play-by-play -play on the last drive. And my dad just like, oh, my, my dad just can't even handle it. He's like, I'm so pissed that I left my grandparents' house. All right, that's dead. We can't really, like, let's not get greedy. We're likely going to be able to double spell with a counter spell here. Uh, no, we want this. We just want to hit land drops. That was such a shit game, though. Like, everyone sits there, and all my friends were like, oh, my God, that was the greatest game of all time. And I was like, no, it really wasn't. Like, there was nothing very good about that game. It was just, like, the Falcons just hammered on the Patriots to start, and then the Patriots just hammered on the Falcons. Like, in both teams, just made a bunch of stupid mistakes. I think it was locked up. Then I get back to the house. I'm livid. My family wouldn't talk to me because I was rich. Cat, you seem to be good at raging. I, I waffle back and forth between whether Brandon is the one that causes the raging or you're the one that causes the raging through my Twitter feed, and I'm pretty undecided. Fitty boy. Uh, again, we're just going to keep this. And I think I'm just going to jam Nick. Like, this deck likely... They might play Disdainful Stroke, but... So are you going to live, are you going to live with, like, other Magic players? Like, what's, what are the deets here? I gotta live with Dad Bod Zach. I wanna live with Dad Bod Zach. Oh, they're blinking it. I'll take that. 
I have a lot of feelings, but Brandon definitely rages better than I do. Brandon instigates it. I was I was playing Death Shadow yesterday, and it was my however I don't remember which league it is. All right, so they're gonna Marari into a they're gonna get their blink back. I'm gonna go with yes. I think I'm just gonna play Nick or not play play Niv because they're gonna have to spend their entire turn to deal with it. I'm moving in with Dyke. Steve. I don't know who Dykeman is. Worth. I don't know who Worth is unless that's, that's Zach's last game. You're talking about Steven Dykeman, right? Like, didn't he win an Open and he lost to... No, he didn't win an Open. He lost to Brendan DeCandio in the final one, right? I've seen him once or twice. I've never played against him. Okay. Yeah, Zach's... Zach's obviously good at magic. He has good takes. This conjecture is going to do work. What game is this? I don't even know. Um, Zach's last name is Allen. Okay. Michael Worth. I don't know who Michael Worth is. But I enjoy talking magic with Zach. He seems like he's got... I mean, he... 12-4 at the Pro Tour. Like he's obviously got his head on right. And he knows about the dad bod life. L-Y-F-E. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the dad bod. The dad bod is a work of art. It takes it takes effort to keep the dad bod because the dad bod lifestyle is not conclusive is not conducive to keeping a dad bod. It is conclusive to getting like a granddad bod, which is not good. Nobody likes that. Like it just gets worse. We do not want this. All right, take it easy. Thank you for showing up. We're going to just work through these creatures here. <laughs> Dude, the granddad mod. I can just bounce this Marari so it doesn't go off. No, let's just draw cards. I think we're going to be able to deal. Like, this Marari, if it goes nuts, it kind of plays into what I'm doing here with Niv. So we're going to be able to kill this thing. Pretty much no matter what, because we're going to be able to draw a card off this, draw a card off Sarkin. A one mana spell would be sweet so that I could also play Nick. Okay, so they are blinking. So maybe this isn't going to work as well as I wanted to. I knew they had that blink. I'm playing like such, such no bueno. Okay, put this on the bottom. I think I put this on the bottom. Put this into my graveyard as well. We're just not going to have time for this. Now let's play this Nick. There's a lot going on. Now we just got to see. If, let's see if we get Marari out of two games in a row. Because if we get Marari out of two games in a row, then like the Marari's probably just actually good, and I shouldn't get salty about it. But they have to answer. They they have to answer Nick, and they've already used their blink. I could just trade Nick. Which I don't hate doing. I kind of just like the longer, like now that this Marari's gone, kind of the longer this game goes, the cooler I am with that. So I might just trade Nick.
This deck does create some interesting games. They make it a little tough for streaming because, like, you want to interact and have fun with everybody. So, like, I'm not necessarily, like, what is the right line of play? You chart, man. Get your chart out. You map that shit. How much mana do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can go Niv into Sarkin. So they're going to get a Phoenix back. Don't kill my Niv. Don't kill my Nick. Wow, this is this is probably gonna end up with like seventy two phoenixes in play. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna trade. Like, things are just going to get better. If I trade, things are going to get better for me. They just a lava coil. That means they likely have another lava coil. Yeah. So we're going to take 11 here. 12. 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's not going to do it. I would like to flip this. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, three, leave a mana up. Then I've got to like, dude, this Morari. Okay, I, I, might be, I might be wrong about this Morari. This Morari has done some serious work. The thing is, they're going to have to cast spells into this anyways. So let's just get this Planeswalker going. One, two, three, four, five. I could plus. Plus to ditch a card. I think I'm going to ditch a card. Because, like, holding up Essence Scatter is not going to matter, I don't think. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Because we might find out, we might hit an answer to this. No, we hit another Niv. Okay. Oh, I'm going to tap my mana right. Blue, blue. <clears throat> there's a world where we die here and i think that both of these games that we lost here against this deck have been um to my to have been my fault so they're gonna play their own niv and this is going to get weird. Yep. You can see this game. Yeah, I think that was my fault. I keep losing these sideboarding games, and I, I, I think they're my fault. Like, I think that I'm not playing around the Mirari's conjecture. I think we're just kind of, like, dirtling and going to town. And we're just not giving this enough respect. Because the Mirari's conjecture has beat us in two... Uh, it's beaten us in two games. I think outside of Mirari's conjecture, this deck isn't going to beat, isn't going to win. But I do think that I am just like tossing games here to the Mirari's conjecture with a little bit of like interaction and a little bit of just me not being quite 100% on top of the game. And just not giving Mirari's conjecture the respect that it deserves. So maybe the key, maybe the key to beating these decks is to play a version of the Drake deck with Mirari's Conjecture. I did play BBD's deck that cut Mirari's Conjecture and didn't like it. I didn't think that it had a pat way to go over the top. Like it just got like you want to sit there and grind and it just got beat. So 
get the last three. Get our pity chest. Uh, we're um, oh man, if we hit a blue land, we're kind of in set. We're kind of all set because we just gotta believe in search for its cancer, and we have some game against aggro. But if we don't hit a blue land, we're like up shit creek without a paddle. We can also hit any land in Sarkin. I'm gonna keep this, and it's gonna be like, well, no, I'm gonna morgan. If we can play search, we can keep. All right, this hand's much better. I'm gonna play Dragon Skull Summit first. We're gonna want lands. I'm gonna guess that we want removal. Like I think a shock would be pretty solid for us. Because I think we're playing against Drakes or we're playing against Mono Red. Okay. All right, let's give ourselves the option to cannonade. I'm going to take two. And if they don't add anything, then we're just going to cannonade. We could go like syncopated chain whirler and okay, that's fine. Play one more thing. Okay, we got lightning. So now we can. Shock, syncopate, or insight. Maybe it's better to play the, the like it cuts us off of a play. I think I think where I would rather just insight than deal with this thing. I'm just gonna deal with this now before it pings me. It's gonna basically counter anything. And then slam this Niv. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna counter that. Or that. I guess the thing I was gonna counter anything is, but like one mana for like shocks, not I don't think shocks worth it. So now we can just die to burn spells. But I think my best way to win the game is to play Nev. And thinking that the best way to play that would have been Niv is I should have countered. Chris Factor. You can draw four cards. Have no. Draw cards. Yeah, I, this was stupid. I should have countered a shock because the way that I'm losing this game is to just, like, the longer I can keep Niv in play, the better I'm going to do. And like I just need to take as many draw steps as possible with with the old nib dad. The old G2 lava boys. All right, big fan of just flashing this back and wrathing the board. Probably ditch this syncopate because this kills this. God, this card is so stupid. And now we're going to attack. I 
I'm going to counter All right, I'm going to keep open all of my blue mana. And I think I'm just going to attack because no, I'm going to hold back because this thing's about to pop. I don't want to die to like, I don't want to have to counter a stupid hasty creature. I love you, Phil. This is the one from their graveyard. Hit this for two. Maybe I should have let him just draw cards there. Tossed it. I fucking tossed it. Yeah, that was stupid. Lightning Strike killed me. Yeah, that was dumb. Chain Whirler didn't kill me. Chain Whirler into, like, Risk Factor killed... Nah, that was so stupid. Ugh. That was dumb. I even, like, was like, yo, we're gonna... Hold back our dude to make sure that doesn't happen. So let's get rid of this. Elvis Reborn's pretty slow. Sarkins are kind of slow. Is Negate better than the Sarkin or the Insights? Yeah, let's just go like this. I don't think negates. I don't know. Maybe negates better. I guess search is slow too. Negates got to be better than Sark and search. Let, let's let's Moto. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Moto. Ship. Uh, keep. Put on top. That's not bad. Now we have answers to the first two things. We're gonna shock this. Like I might, like I think, I guess I'm gonna be able to eat pretty much anything with this Dire Fleet Daredevil. With Dire Fleet Poisoner. Yeah, I, I'm not valuing the Dire Fleet Poisoner enough. But I kind of want to use my mana. Because it gives itself plus one, plus one. You got it, man. Okay, that's not a bad draw. Maybe I should have played the Poisoner. Just have it on the battlefield. 
looking like that would have been good. This seems like a flame of killed. Uh, we're in trouble, chat. This might be the end of our league. That's not bad. So let's not like be stupid. Lose like lightning strike shock, chain whirler lightning strike they can't cast. You have bane fire, okay. Dude, these nicks. Nick's so good. Dire Fleet Poisoner going all going the distance. I have a feeling that their last card is Banefire. And we're gonna we're gonna get them with this. Uh, we're gonna get them with this moment of craving. Then we'll nick their last card. Oh, they are there are other cards. Alright, we have to fade like half of their deck. Come on. We have that covered. Come on. Come on. We get insight for a shock. We've got three shocks left in the deck. That Virashiro boy. <sighs> Alas, it was not meant to happen. Close. All right. Let's chit chat about this deck a little bit and then we'll get back into it. And then we'll probably call it a stream. So I think that this deck, I think there's some amalgamation of this deck that's good. I think that I lost matches by not respecting the Mirari's. Like, I think I lost games in match two and three by not respecting the Mirari's conjecture. And that cost it. I think I, had I handled, had I like dealt with conjecture in both games, I think that I would have, come on, buddy. You gotta back away from that. You're shaking the table. I think I would have won both games, both matches, all three matches, or what? Two matches against Drake's going away if I would have respected Mirari's conjecture. But I just played slower, been like, okay, here's the conjecture. Like, I got trigger happy with Niv. If we'd have just played defense and played a little less offense, I think we would have won going away. I'm excited to work on this deck. I think there's a, I think this deck's good. Like, there's an iteration of this deck's good. Um, I gotta determine if it's actually good against Drake's. Um, my gut tells me it is from what I've played. If I play around Mirari's conjecture, because the conjecture lost, like I was shitting on the conjecture earlier, it beat me in both games. So, 
So yeah, um, that's going to be it for me today. I'll be back on Wednesday. I will likely be playing either Death Shadow or Standard. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and I will see all of you guys next time.